Hey everybody, my name is Wallens, and welcome to Life is Strange True Colors, the... I don't even know what number game this is anymore. I assume most people think this is Life is Strange 3. I think it is? Yeah, but it, ugh, this whole thing has been a franchise now, which is pretty crazy to think about because back in 1, 2015, that was six years ago, and look at how far this series has grown. Anyway, first of all, thank you to Square Enix for sending me a copy of the game. Life is Strange, a lot of you probably already know that this is a series I enjoy very much, and we are back here for the new one. That's pretty much it. This game is made by Deck9, who are the people who made Life is Strange before the storm, but not the other Life is Stranges. Under any other circumstance, I feel like this would be quite worrying, but it's Deck9, and we already have some familiarity with them via Before the Storm, so I feel like we're gonna be pretty okay here. We should be. Our main character today is Alex. Alex Chen. So, Alex, the day's finally here. You've been at the Helping Hands group home for eight years. We've been through a lot in that time. We have. And now you're finally leaving to live with your brother. My brother Gabe. It says here he lives in Haven Springs, Colorado. Is that correct? That's a big move. Do you have any plans as far as school or a job? My brother said I might pick up a few shifts at the bar he works at. So you'd be dealing with people? Oh, I'm great at that, aren't I? Maybe. Does your brother know about your... issues? Is that an official interview question, Dr. Lin? Alex, you know that I care about you. With everything that has happened, I just want what's best for you. He doesn't know. No one will once I leave this place. I'll just be a normal girl in a normal town. Moving elsewhere to start anew, so that people won't judge us based off things that we don't want to be known by. Our quote-unquote issues. While we're young, we can start anew anywhere, everywhere. The world's my oyster. Chapter 1, Side A. Like Side A of a cassette tape? Cassette tape? Isn't that a little bit too old? <laughs> Gabe said to meet him at the bridge. I can't wait to see him. I'm Alex Chen. I packed my bags and I'm going to go find my brother Gabe. Oh, it's pretty here. Gabe told me to meet him at the bridge. Yeah, well, Gabe can wait. Gabe can wait. I want to sightsee. No, hold on. You know what? Tradition. <laughs> Check our phone first, of course. SMS. Messages. Chelsea. Bridget. Jean. Isaac. Mariella. Uh, maybe we'll read the top three for now. The new ones. Chelsea. Hey, Alex. It's Chelsea. In November 27, 2017. Thank you so much for your help with Harley last night. My jaw is still sore, but it could have been way worse if you didn't step in. Hey, Chelsea. I'm glad you're okay. Harley's awful. Don't worry. Not every girl is that bad in foster care. Text me if you need me, okay? Foster care. It's probably where Alex came from and who she was talking to in the beginning, that Dr. Lin. Is somebody there? Heart, heart, heart. Oh my god, thank you! Uh, about like five months later? I didn't think I was gonna get any birthday gifts. The necklace is beautiful. Happy birthday. Don't be too thankful. I bought it at a pawn shop, lol. Hey, orphans can't be picky, right? Truth. And then another five months later. Hey, Alex, sorry to bother you. Do you have any spare pads? I'm having a situation here. No bother. Check the drawer in my nightstand. I think I stashed some in there. You remain my hero. Thank you. Heart. And then 
Quite a bit of a skip here. April 5th, 2019. Hey, Chelsea. I have something important to tell you and didn't want to wait. At the end of the month, I'm going to move to Colorado and live with my brother. Leaving you was the literal only downside to this plan. I'm really sorry. Just know that I'm always a phone call or text away, okay? Congrats! Don't be sorry. I'm so happy for you. Can we talk more this weekend? I want to hear all about it. Sounds good. And then three weeks later, Good luck today. I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. Don't let anyone push you around, okay? You're rad as hell. Life has been hard these past few years, but I'm really glad we met. Me too. Like my best friend in foster care, basically. Man, when I was reading this part, for some reason I thought Chelsea would have a really bad reaction to it, but I'm really glad to see that no, she is a good person here. Growing up in foster care, even though we have a brother, or maybe we just found him, Gabe. Oh, he's actually, according to his picture here, he looks a little bit older than us, huh? Oops. Alex in February 7, 2019. Who's this? Holy shit, Alex Chen? Uh, sorry, who is this? It's Gabe! Is this some kind of joke? No, you dork, call me right now! And then they called for a long time. Probably late into the night. Hey, it was so rad catching up yesterday. Chat again later? Yeah, sure. Hey, how was your weekend? Three days later. Pretty good. Charlotte and I took Ethan hiking. Tons of fun. How about you? Mm, so this is, uh, were we, like, not in contact for a while and then we caught up again? Finally listened to the new Paint Thinner Coffee album. They're killing it. PTC rips! Ever seen them live? Not yet. Death will and I get a chance. And then, ten days later, hey, how are things? It seems like I'm the only one initiating, though. Alex, sorry, I haven't texted. Things are crazy busy. How are you? Oh, four days later. Oh, something happened here, probably. She usually replies to texts pretty fast, but then for four days, she didn't say anything. Things are weird right now, dealing with it. Do you need help? No, I'm okay, thanks. Alien, would you ever want to live in Haven? Duck. Duck! <laughs> I, know, I know what he's trying to say. He's trying to say Alex, but it autocorrected. <laughs> Not alien! You're not an alien! You're Ali! Autocorrect law, this phone is an idiot. Ali, you awake? Oh no, wait, what? This is like 2 a.m. drunk test texting? Well, hey bud. Have you been drinking? No, this is my natural state. Answer the question. Ah, Ali. Ali short for Alex? I mean, that's longer than Alex. Okay, whatever floats your boat. <laughs> Go to bed. Oh fuck, I drunk texted you. Serious though, for, uh, FTR, for something real, for, for the real. <laughs> Offer stands, Haven's cool. A few days later, hey, what's up? Haven't heard from you in a few days. Are you alright? No, oh, she hasn't been replying for a while. Alex, please call me when you get this. How are you holding up? I'm okay. It's been shitty here, but we've been through worse. Let me know if you need anything. Will do. Oh, something happened and things got bad. And then Alex considered the offer of going to Haven Spring. And then she accepted. Can't believe you're coming, yes! <laughs> Me neither. Thanks again for sending the ticket. You're a lifesaver. Of course, we're so excited to have you here. Tomorrow's a big day, you need anything? Nope, I'm good. I don't have much to carry, you know? Yeah. Hey, I'm about an hour away. Can't wait, I'm ready for ya. Bus just pulled in. On my way! Aww, so it is April 28th today. Let's read the rest of this later on, then. Meet my brother. Ooh, it's like a nice little town by the mountains. It's pretty here, I like the flowers. Seems like another tightly knit community, but in another way, not quite like Arcadia Bay. Look at the nature! It's beautiful. Now I start reading my phone because I'm waiting, right? <laughs>
Holy shit. That's really him. <laughs> hey, big bro. Oh, what's the protocol for reuniting with your long lost sister after eight years? Oh, well, we're family. I'm cool with oh. the hug if you are. <laughs> Crushing my ribs still part of the protocol. <laughs> Eight years. It's just so good to see you again. I can't believe you're here. Believe it. <sighs> oh. She's all grown up. And I missed it. I'm a lot taller, huh? Yeah, yeah. Time will do that to you. Are you ready to see the town? Hmm. Yeah. I'm just a little nervous. You should be. This reunion's being filmed. <laughs> Okay, the uh, Black Lantern is just up the street. I mentioned I live above a bar, right? Even better. How was the trip? You must be wiped. I'm good. The drive through the mountains was amazing. Eleanor, hey, Alex just got here. Alex, meet Eleanor Laith, owner of the flower shop, and honest to God, royalty of Haven Springs. Oh, it is so nice to finally meet you. Welcome! Oh. <laughs> we are so glad to have you, Alex. Gabe told us all about you. I'm glad to be here. Right off the bat, people's facial expressions are very lively. She seems nice. Yeah, she's great. A little quick on the draw with hugs, though. Yeah, no shit. Yeah, I don't seem quite comfortable with that home. Welcome to Haven. Whoa, a different kind of small town. It kind of feels like one of those derelict places that you come across in The Last of Us or something. A lot of little small mom and pop shops. Is this the first official stop on the tour? Absolutely. If you follow me inside, you'll find a prize exhibit. Gabe Chen buys makeup flowers for angry girlfriend. Oh, I can't wait. It's gotten so so reviews. <laughs> so Gabe also lives with his girlfriend, I assume? Hey, Gabe. Riley, meet my sister, Alex. What's your greatest weakness? Uh, what? It's for a college interview. We've been debating this one for days. Gabe insists that I give an honest answer. It's always better to give an honest answer. And what's the alternative? Lying? Don't say I work too hard. Not lying, more like strategic half-truthing. Like, I work too hard or... No! <laughs> I save too many puppies. They could smell that bullshit a mile away. I've been trying to warn her. Oh, yeah? What would you do? You should say something that is a weakness, but it's something that you can change or you're working on. Then this is coming from like, you know, recruiters and stuff. So it's a little bit of both actually. It's not just one or the other, but I would say let's let's try to be a little bit clever. Honesty, like if you tell the recruiter, I am not good with people at a people job. I don't know what they're going to think. I would be clever. Telling the truth only gets you so far. Oh, you hear that, Gabe? You're outnumbered. I'll never surrender. He'll come around eventually. It's not one or the other, though. Alex, help me out real quick. What do I get for Charlotte? Sunflowers are her favorite, but I read online that Lily of the Valley is great for saying sorry. What do you think? 
What uh, exactly are you apologizing for? This time around, maybe the toilet seat. <laughs> mm. If Charlotte loves sunflowers, go with the sunflowers. That's what I was thinking. Get her something she likes. You know, if Mac brought me flowers half as often, well, he wouldn't be Mac. Is it still on and off with you two? Sort of. More on right now, but wait five minutes and ask again. <laughs> Put this on my tab? Yeah. Are you sure you don't want to just tell Mac about the interview? No, not yet. I'll handle it. Okay, your call. We can leave when you're ready. Sounds good. Might as well have a look around before we leave. So this lady's working at the flower shop right now, but maybe it's like a family business and she is interviewing to be elsewhere. Mandatory for any enchanted garden. We got to see a little bit of Alice's so-called issues earlier, huh? The little aura around Gabe and then she could feel what he was thinking. How to Kill Everything You Touch, a flower book by Alex Chen. <laughs> yeah, I know, that's me too. Same. The Perfect Flower Bed by Susan K. Knight. Making the Magic Garden Real. Written by Sarah Quinn. Thank you, but no thank you. The Flavors of Earth. Oh, wow. I can imagine it must feel really rewarding though. Planting something and then, you know, reaping the fruits of your labor. You can make anything pretty if you shove a bouquet inside. <laughs> Oh, no category for estranged brother you haven't seen in eight years because you were ripped apart by the foster care system? Oh. That's a shame. Okay, let me let me try to figure out what's happening here. We were separated because my brother is a little bit older, so maybe maybe okay, at some point we became orphans. Yeah? And then when that happened, maybe my brother was already of age, but he couldn't take care of me. So I got thrown into some foster care thing. And then somehow we just lost contact over the years. Maybe because my brother was too busy trying to live his own life. This gnome has been places. How old is Alex? Perfect. That guy's bad to the gnome. Right? I heard he won the Gnome Bell Peace Prize. Oh god, please stop. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm making a good first impression. <laughs> the tiny house movement is really taking off. Uh, it's social commentary on capitalism and how we can't afford housing. Apple Annie, Freaky Delicious. Bridge of Flowers, Canneries. Aw, I wonder who they are. Original owners of the shop, maybe? Cute, right? Yeah. Are those your grandparents? No, but they were like family. Alistair and Ava Murphy. Nana bought the building from them before I was born. Oh. I hope Charlotte likes the sunflowers. I don't know anything about flowers, man. Don't ask me. Does anyone actually sit in the decorative store chair? Who doesn't look steady enough? Hold right click when the dot displays to see the emotions on the character. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. I'm sure it's fine. I don't feel great about that choice. Like, I think you should be honest, but like... Being honest and being clever are not mutually exclusive. Ooh. What if I don't get in? Shit. What if I do get in? Am I really ready to leave this place? If Riley's so anxious about leaving this town, I guess it can't be too bad. Hopefully my advice doesn't derail her entire life. 
I'm sure it's fine. It is a big choice, leaving everyone you know and then just going elsewhere. Depending on what kind of person you are, you can't really say one, one choice is right and the other is wrong. Once I'm done looking around, we can head out. Oh, this town is so pretty. So scenic. We are in Colorado. Colorado, or Haven Spring, Colorado. Yeah. Okay, well, thank you for letting us visit. And I hope we meet Charlotte soon. Let's go, Gabe. Ready. Thanks. See you soon, Rai. How long have you and Charlotte been dating? Mm, about three years now, I think. You must spend a lot of money on bouquets. She's worth it. Yep. Stop making her mad to begin with. <laughs> Watch your feet now. It's getting windy. My feet are fine. I just don't want you to fall. These houses are cheap. Stable feet with ladder work. Enough with the feet. Hey, don't get snippy with me, pal. I'm just saying my Uncle Albert fell off a ladder once when he was repainting his roof. Beautiful mahogany color. You should have seen it. Anyway, broke his whole arm. The whole thing. Sounds awful. It was. He couldn't feed himself for a month. Why didn't he use his other arm? What's that now? His other arm. Why didn't he use his other arm to eat? You know what? I'm not sure. No one ever asked that before. You know what? <laughs> Why don't you check next time you see him? Oh, he's dead. Oh. <sighs> Jesus. Sorry. Didn't know. Hey, that's fine. He was an awful guy. Chat less while the guy's oh, on the ladder. Your feet. Yeah, it's gonna be dangerous. Spring wreath. These are really nice. Thanks. I hand wove every wreath myself. Wow. You should start a business. It's not about the money, Alex. Well, here we are. Already? Wow. Good to know. Typhon Mining Company blasting notice. Automated blasting to take place? Uh, today? Today at 9 p.m. Warning sirens will sound. Oh, warning sirens will sound prior to detonation in areas within blast radius. Do not enter blast area. What's this for? Oh, mining. Right, because we're like right next to a mountain or something. Hmm. Silver dragon. What did you think of Local beekeeper breaks state record for total number of bees. Stop the presses. <laughs> hey, don't hate. How many bees do you have? Uh, last time I checked, like, zero bees. Oh, like at school? Wow. Just... wow. Goat yoga classes. Center your body, free your mind, and do it all with tiny little goat feet on your back. Join us for a relaxing yoga session on our farm. Is this real? Namaste. Really? With a goat on our back? Uh, what the shit is goat yoga? Yoga. With goats. Welcome to Colorado. <laughs> I'm sorry, was somebody speaking in the back here? Didn't quite catch you. Just chilling out looking at the mural. I think my bag is probably pretty heavy. Maybe we should get going. <laughs> Hold on then, since we have a little bit of a lull here. Dr. Lin. Alex, we have a session scheduled in my office. Are you going to make it? This is January 24th, back in 2018. Alex? Punctual attendance of scheduled sessions with your assigned counselor are a precondition of your residence at Helping Hands, Alex. Let's call this strike one. I'm sorry, I lost track of time. Per our session yesterday. Oh, this is three weeks later. Per our session yesterday. To pilot the self by Dr. Levi Hopner. Right, thanks. She recommended a book? 
I hope you find it helpful. Just checking in. How are you feeling after everything? Is Heather okay? Uh, March was around the time when they had a thing going on, right? According to the, um, the text with Chelsea earlier. Oops. Probably had a fight. She's upset, which I think you'll agree is understandable, but she's not hurt. I'm so sorry. Alex, where are you? Four days later. Your things are gone. Who are you with? Alex, please get in touch with me. No one knows where you are. Alex, I realize you're in an emotionally vulnerable position right now. I'd like to speak to you before I leave for the night. Are you settled in? Oh, this is like seven months later. Yes. May I stop by your room briefly? Yes. And then she decided to go. Good luck in this new chapter of your life. Please know I'm here for you if you need me. Oh, this caller has been blocked. You'll no longer receive messages from their number. One minute later, she wasn't hesitating at all. My goodness. She seemed nice enough, but you never know, I guess. Jean? Hey, is this Jean? Back in 2013. That's Cosmic Charlie to your friend. To whom am I speaking? Alex, Stacy gave me your number. Are you still selling? Only to those who truly know how to surrender to the flow. Yeah, never mind. What are you buying? Isaac. Hey, Alex. It's Isaac from the record store. Thanks for schooling me on Brianna Lilac. Her first album's great. It was really nice meeting you yesterday. You must have the wrong number. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm just kidding, dude. It's Alex, lol. Jesus, I was so bummed out for a second. Why would you do that to me? Is she, like, into music? She's got those big headphones. Sorry, it was nice meeting you, too. Would love to take you out for coffee sometime. You owe me one for that cruel and unusual joke. Ha, <laughs> maybe next weekend? Great, I'll ping you Saturday. Have a happy Halloween. Hey, Alex, are you free tonight for a drink? I know a spot downtown that serves literally the perfect sangria. Hey, Isaac, sorry for the delay. It's been, like, an hour. Alex, you can leave texts alone for more than an hour. <laughs> I can't do drinks, but maybe coffee after lunch? You can try to redeem your musical tastes. Why can't she do drinks? Because she's underage or because of her... foster care rules? Challenge accepted. Have you been to the Silver Kettle on SW Southwest Washington? Not yet. 3 p.m.? See you there. I had a great time, Alex. Despite your questionable choice in beverage. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with hot chocolate. Hi, Alex. You free for drinks tonight? I'm craving another lesson on Portland singer-songwriters. Prepare for an education. Call me after lunch. You got it. Hey, beautiful. Interested in a cocktail tonight? Or just tons of popcorn in a movie? Why not both? Now we're talking. Let's start with a cocktail. You free at eight-ish? Sure. Very belated, but happy new year. Sorry I've been out of touch. Just busy with my program. Happy new year. Don't worry about it. Can I take you out tonight? Have a full-on dinner with wine and bread. like. Actual dinner. Actual dinner sounds great, thanks Isaac. I'll get glammed up a bit. It's about time. You need to step up your glam game. Hey, you haven't seen me at roll out of bed level glam. Maybe I'll see that tomorrow morning? Whoa, you are forward. Easy there, Trigger. Hey Isaac, you around? Hey Alex, how goes it? Do you think I can crash at your place tonight? That foster care life is catching up with me. Of course, I'll get out the wine. Yeah, this is around when the thing happened with Heather in March, early March. Thank you so much. I don't really need the wine. I'm actually pretty beat. I'll take it out just in case. Call me when you're downstairs. I'm a little bit worried about this guy, though. Oh, Alex, last night was incredible. I'm really glad you came over. Everything okay? Hey, yeah, we just moved a little fast last night. Can we hold off on sex for a while? Hmm. She was emotionally vulnerable, and then this guy just kind of moved in on it. What's wrong? I thought you were having a good time. I just wasn't in the right mindset. Mm, sorry to hear that. You were giving me all the right signals, and I thought you were interested. And then she ghosted him. Hey, Alex. Want to get a drink? Alex, you awake? Let me know when you get these. Alex, come get drinks. I'm buying. Alex? Hey, Isaac. Alex Chen? Long time no see. It's been like a year. I know, right? Listen, I need a place to crash again. Can I bribe you with free beer? Oh, she only talked to him because she needed something. <laughs> you have something that's way better than beer and you know it. 
Wow. Can you not? Can you not be like that? I just need a place to sleep. And that's what I've got, and then some. Just come over. She didn't block him immediately. But the next day, which leads me to believe that she probably did go over, and I don't think this guy was a nice guy. No. Mariella. Hey, is this still your number? 2014. Oh my god, Alex? Hey, Mari. So good to hear from you. How are you? I'm okay. Sorry to ask, but do you have a place I could crash? My amazing decision-making abilities got me into some trouble. Yes, of course. Our apartment has a couch with your name on it. I'll call you in a few. Thanks so much. I'll pay you back with tender love and affection. Law. Merry Christmas, Alex. Hope you're somewhere warm. Hey, Mari. Yeah, I'm totally smoking. Merry Christmas. Did you ever figure things out with Miss Stevens? No, she's a bitch. I ended up back in the group home after that. Aw, oh, maybe somebody adopted her? Kano! So sorry, Alex. You deserve better. All good. I already added her to my won't be sad if murdered list. Hi, Mari. I bought the latest PTC vinyl. We'll trade it away for a few more nights on your couch. Hey, lol. Sure thing. I'm home right now. Thanks. I promise I won't make this a habit. I got you, girl. So this is a common theme among all of her texts. She kind of just texts people whenever she needs a place to crash because she's really at her wit's end. Alex, how are you? Next year? Haven't heard from you in forever. Hey, sorry I missed this, but I'm managing. You? One day at a time. I met a pretty nice guy at work. We've gone it a few times. Oh, cool. Tell him to not fuck it up. <laughs> hey, I'm in your neck of the woods. Wanna get a drink? Hola, chica. I already started. Let's go. La. I actually got a table at Auntie's for once. Come by. Sick. Be right there. Hey, Mari. I'm really sorry, but can I crash again? I decided I need a break from the hellhole known as Helping Hands. Oh, so she would have gone to Mari, but then she couldn't, so she went to Isaac. Alex, I'm so sorry, but I have a few friends staying with me right now, so I can't. Maybe in a week or two? No worries, I'll figure something out. Have a good night. You too. Good luck and be safe. And then, like, next year. Hey, you okay? You left the bar pretty quick last night. Hi, Mari, you there? Mari, don't be coy, I've totally seen you naked. Mari, please text me if you get this. I was just joking about that stuff I said last week. There's nothing weird about me. Ex except that one birthmark. I was drunk, I was joking. Mari, please. I need you, of all people, to not treat me like a freak. Please. She probably told her about her power. Her psychic power of empathy. <sighs> Her best friend at Helping Hands is the one that she couldn't really say too much to because she didn't really tell her the truth. And then even earlier, we were encouraging Alex to not tell the truth because people don't understand. People just won't understand you. Okay, we will read all this later. Don't think we can go over here. Alex, wait up. Okay. Sorry, Gabe. I had, a uh, just reminiscing about my phone and the circumstances that got me here. I bet Gabe keeps the flower shop in business all by himself. <laughs> I can't see the... Wait, I can do the little dot. Step one, patch things up with Charlotte. And step two... Alex and Charlotte become best friends and everyone's happy forever. Gabe's pretty nervous about making sure I'll like it here. It's sweet. We can read people's minds, basically, and know with absolute certainty what they really think. This could be a really dangerous power. Yeah, there's no need for subtlety or anything anymore because we know exactly what people are thinking. Gabe Chen, flower delivery man. I know, right? Let me duck in here and smooth everything out. It'll only be a minute. I I'll introduce you properly later. Once, you know. It's no problem, really. <sighs> it's gonna be longer than a minute. Trust me. Ethan! Oh. Hi there. Hi, King. Gabe's your brother, right? I'm Ethan. Charlotte's my mom. Ah. Hi, Ethan. I'm Alex. What you reading? Ninth Warden. 
Oh, has she found the scepter of serenity yet? <gasps> She's looking for the scepter, but I think she'll need the bangle of vanishing to get to it. Ah, uh, a fellow, a fellow fan. I wanted to turn invisible so bad when I was a kid. Still do sometimes, to be honest. You can get away with anything if you're invisible. And no one can stop you. If you like comics, I can show you the one I'm making. I'd love to see it. Hell yeah, that'd be so rad, kid. You can keep it if you want. I made a bunch of copies to sell in the record store. This hey. is awesome, Ethan. I can't wait to read it. Are you going camping? You know the mines? I know they exist. There are a bunch of old tunnels all around the mountains. I think I found a way into one. I mean, I'm not an expert on old mines, but that would scare the crap out of me. I just like to explore sometimes. It's no big deal. Oh man, I shouldn't have told you that. Mm. We just met him. I don't think we should be like, you know, playing the parent. I have no room to judge. Gabe and I used to get into all sorts of places we didn't belong. Thanks, Alex. I think I'll check out that record store. Nice meeting you, Ethan. Where on earth have we seen that comic book? It looks so familiar. I'm sure we've seen it somewhere before. Oh, wow. That's a lot of stuff in here. This place reminds me of the shop Gabe and I used to go to. <laughs> He'd save up for weeks from his shitty car wash job just to buy us something to listen to. It's crazy. Here I am, years later, still waiting for my big brother in the record store. Except this time, I'm buying the record. No way. Oh! <gasps> Steph? But this is 2019, way after Life is Strange 1. And before the storm. Oh, uh... Uh... What? Citizens of Haven Springs, that was the Wednesday with Bomb Squad. Up next, a very special request from... some chick. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> Sorry, the store's actually closed right now. Which is confusing because it's obviously open. Wait. Are you Alex? That's me. Wow. Gabe's been talking about you coming since... Forever. I'm Ryan. Hi, Ryan. Nice to meet you. So, all the way from Portland, huh? What do you think of Haven? The moment Ryan came out, Alex seemed a little bit scared. Her body language was like... Her body was like really pulled away. Hmm. I've seen some cool things so far. 
Like, this record store is amazing. I didn't expect anything like this here. Yep. It's our cultural landmark for sure. So, the store is closed, but they opened it just for you? You must be picking up something pretty important. Yeah, well, you could say that. An outdoorsman's guide to the calls of common birds. Wow, that's... Different just means bad. The nerdiest thing I've ever seen. And I owned two Schoolhouse Rock albums. I'd lie and say it was for my work, but no, it's totally for fun. (laughs) So you're a... Colorado State Park Ranger. It's all coming into focus. Well, bummer the store's closed. I was thinking of getting a gift for Gabe, but I'll figure something else out. I don't even know if he still listens to records. He does. Charlotte just got him a record player for his birthday. I'm pretty sure he put something on hold. So you don't work here? Steph won't mind. It'll be the easiest sale she's ever made. If I could just find the whole list. (laughs) Hmm. Damn. I know I saw it before. Want to help me look? Sure. Oh, yeah. Any ideas on where to start? No idea. Steph leaves stuff all over the place. What am I looking for exactly? Oh. Oh, there's Charlotte. World's OKS boyfriend! Aw, you were right about the sunflowers. Feel like I'll get used to saying that with you. I won't get used to hearing it. By the way, I invited you to our neighborhood on my block. Check it out when you have a sec. Cool, thanks. My block. Ah, it's like a Facebook community thing, but for the whole town? (gasps) There's so much to read, my god. Typhon mining. Uh, yeah, siren alarm, blast area, 9pm. Please make sure you stay out and uh, call our hotline if you have questions. <laughs> this poster has disabled replies. Gee, I wonder why. I wonder why. Big corporation, small town. Want to guess their popularity levels? Typhon cares. Call us anytime. Do you notice what happened earlier with Ryan? Do you know, back with Riley, we were saying that, oh, we should be clever, not honest in applying for a job. But then just now, when we were judging his CD, we could say that he was nerdy or he was different. And I chose to say he was nerdy, which is the truth. And I think saying different is seen as the more diplomatic, um, not as rude option because it's kind of hiding our true intentions a bit. So even though I said we should be clever, I chose an honest opinion. But in this instance, I do feel like saying exactly what we think is probably easier for us to make friends with him. Gabe Chen, my sister Alex is finally getting into town tomorrow, so I expect everyone to be on their least worst behavior. I'll be adding her to my block as soon as she gets in. Everyone say welcome. So exciting. I can barely handle one Chen. No way, tomorrow? Happy for ya. I'll buy you a beer tonight to celebrate. Oh wow, they're so close. They're all so close. Haven Springs, reminder, Town Hall will be fielding any questions you may have regarding Typhon Mining opening a second open pit mine. If there's anything you want to know, leave a comment. What kind of impact will a second mine have on the environment? Thanks for the question, we won't be answering. Will this lead to more traffic through town? My kids walk home from school and those tall trucks make me nervous. Second that. Thanks for asking, we will also not be answering that. They're creating a bunch of new jobs, right? Do they know how many yet? I will find out. Let's settle down and read all of this later. There's a lot going on here. Oh my gosh. Whew. Ah, by the way, Steph is somebody from Life is Strange Before the Storm, for anybody who hasn't played it. So it's kind of like an Easter egg seeing her here. 
So what, Steph moved away from Arcadia Bay to Colorado? Well, she had to because... Actually, I don't know what the canon of... Well, yeah, the canon is that the town got destroyed either way, right? So she had to move. Standing on stage in front of a crowd of strangers? Fuck creepy crawlies. That's the stuff of nightmares. Open mic night at the Black Lantern. Live karaoke, half off drinks, first Tuesday of the month. Sounds swell, to be honest. I like karaoke. You're not the boss of me, poster. Call your councilman. Tell them to vote no on local ballot measure 39. More mining sites. Private mining interests will put their bottom lines before your family's health. Keep our mountain standing tall. Pretty common theme with small towns, like big corporations trying to move in, and you just don't want that to happen. Apparently, plants can feel pain. But can they cry sing all of melancholy and the infinite sadness in bed? I don't think so. Melancholy. Nice name. Now there's a radio contest I might actually be able to win. KRCT's blast from the past giveaway. Play name the tune on 10 oldies to win a flat screen TV, sponsored by Typhon. <laughs> They're throwing in random stuff here to make sure you guys don't hate them. Which I don't think is working, but okay. I'd like that TV anyway. I could spend hours sitting here. Maybe I will. Wait. Is this copyrighted? Oh no. Yeah, hers look pretty like audiophile as well. Wait, this is wireless. Wireless record player? So, this is Haven Springs. A tiny town so deep in the mountains that car sickness is the price of entry, with its own radio station, record store, and dispensary. doesn't feel real. Like I could wake up back in that group home any moment. But I guess this is my home now. It's a home you chose to be at. It's not one that you were forced to be at. The one that separated you. How very small town. Red Rock Summer Concerts, KRCT Summer Giveaways, Don't Miss Out, Family Portraits, Another Commissioned Art, Charlotte Harmon. Family Portraits? Oh, is Charlotte an artist? Time for spring cleaning, make sure to give your gutters some love too. Call Gunther's Gutter Gutters today. <laughs> That's hard to say. Staff picks. Okay, Steph. Let's see what you're into. Steph owns the store? I'm detecting an indie pattern. But then, delightful. Okay. A seriously obscure indie pattern. Forbidden songs, Adam and Steve. Oh. <laughs> A51. Color me impressed. I whelp. Staff picks. So Steph's tastes. Oh, I didn't search it. I'm detecting an indie. Oh no, no, pattern. I did search it. But I don't know what I'm looking for, right? Did he tell me what we're looking for? Ninth Warden, hero of the Intergalactic Peace Wars, and friend to lonely children everywhere. Hmm. It's kind of a nerd interest. Stalker. Oh! 
Oh my god! How could I not have noticed you? Wait... Is that the hold list? Oh, okay, give me a second, Kitty. I'm just gonna look around first then. Emergency guitar. In case of sweet jam sesh, break glass. I wonder if Alex plays an instrument. LARPing! Fake weapons, real fun. Mountain song, May 5th. Chores are an excellent way to learn personal responsibility, Alex. <laughs> Where'd you learn that from? Steph? JW is another staff member here. Pull a sweet prank on Diane. Mop. Stock new arrivals, bulletin board, mop, alliance order due. Mop. Spring fest decorations, mop. <laughs> it's all about mopping. Fishing salmon. Yes, kitty? Don't worry, I didn't forget about you. I love that this town has their own radio station. She's not working. <laughs> She's not working. Huh. Colorado digs its alt rock, I see. He seems cool. For a tree cop. Tree cop? <laughs> This place has just the right amount of dorkiness. Action heroes and stuff? Is that like a knockoff Deadpool? <laughs> Gabe's record is in here, but which one is it? Ah, we have it, we just don't know which one it is, that's the problem. In these troubling times, the world could really use more rock songs with clarinet solos. How do I get a rich Polish clarinetist to buy me things? Made in Poland in the 1930s, this clarinet belonged to Igor Sobieski, a renowned clarinetist and survivor of World War II. Igor and his family moved to New York in 1947, where he founded Sobies Music, an importer of fine instruments from all over the world. Igor eventually retired to Haven Springs, where his generous donations still fund KRCT, Haven's own independent radio station. Oh, wow. No wonder we can afford it. Perpetual motion. Looks exhausting. Is it really perpetual? Gabe and I used to dream about cutting demos all the time as kids. Never got there. Ah! Side A of a record, not a cassette tape. There you go. It's been so long since I've played. Guitar? Once upon a time, there was another Life is Strange protagonist who also played the guitar. God, this is like moon runes to me. I know nothing about like, I don't know, like this indie music. Steph's touch and die. Is it wrong that the note makes me want to touch it more? Touch it. Are you trying to die? I wanted to see what would happen. You're just lucky Steph's behind a soundproof wall. Hey, <laughs> luck or not, I've officially cheated death. <laughs> it's very, like, individualistic. A lot of character in this shop. He seems cool. For a tree cop. I could have sworn she set it down over here. Don't get me wrong, Steph's great, but she can be kind of a mess. The mess is what gives this place character, though. Kitty! Um, would you like to move on your own? Valkyrie. That's one badass cat name. Maybe Val for short? Don't scare the kitty. Don't freak out. I'm just gonna... Okay, Whoa! just kidding. I'm surprised you got out of there with both your hands. Thing is, she's sitting on the hold list. We could use her toy to lure her away. If we can find it. Give me a hand. It's one thing after the next. Don't scare her, that's not nice. KRCT Firewalk. Any luck finding that cat toy? 
Not yet. So, what's the prediction? What do you think Gabe listens to these days? I'm guessing he's gotten pretty deep into the acoustic EDM scene. <laughs> Isn't that an oxymoron? Isn't all great music? Well, deep. <laughs> well, there's only one way to find out. Let's see if we can find that cat toy. We could feed her. A good place for toy safekeeping. We can ask about all of these. Please have the toy. The suspense is killing me. Surprisingly not covered in stickers. Shelves are meant for holding things, right? What about the top shelf? What if it's the original Broadway cast recording of Cats? <laughs> At least that'd be ironic. No toy to be seen. Prime cat toy real estate. Junk box? Yeah. Maybe in the junk box. Ah. And we have a winner. Good guess. <laughs> what is that, a little moose? Be safe out there. If I die a horrible cat-related death, tell Gabe I'm sorry. Little kitty? <laughs> Who's the superior mammal now? Uh, Valkyrie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Good idea. Thanks. For a guy who lives in the woods, I'm pretty good at this customer service thing. Kitty, kitty. That's not even a comfortable spot to be standing on, on top of all those records, but okay. Gabe Chen, Tiny Blue Bot. Steph, Narrow Pathers. Cask Rose, Wild Air. Jed Lucan, the guy with a face. Steph, Grade School Group Project. Gabe Chen, King of Leon. These names, I'm guessing, are going to be people we meet anyway, because it's a pretty small town. Should have known. What happened on my phone? Wait. Seriously? Gabe and I used to listen to records together all the time. We'd forget about the world and rock out for hours. You gotta tell me what Gabe was like as a kid. Any ammunition you can give me? <laughs> he acted cool, but he was really a big dork. Like, one time he was pretending to stage dive and fell off the bed, sprained an ankle. It was funny. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you being here is a game changer in the Gabe embarrassing department. All right, you're looking at 20 even. Thank you. No, no way. I can't believe you're doing this no. again. Come on. Do you have any idea how much time I've put into this? You just, no, dude, I can't come over there. I'm working. <sighs> Um, hmm. It's called a job. Maybe you'd understand if you ever had- I can watch the booth if you gotta get out of here. Hey, hold, hold on a sec. Are you serious? Well, you have a playlist, right? I think I can handle that. You're a lifesaver. Oh, no bird calls though. I'll be there, one sec. <sighs> Organizing a LARP shouldn't be this hard. Okay. You know, the, the tagline they marketed this game with? Uh, Alex Chen has the psychic power of empathy. It's kind of funny when you think about it being said like that. But I think we're beginning to see what the problem is. Because it's not 
it's not conscious. We can't choose to like just observe people's emotions. It's empathy, not sympathy. If Steph is angry, if she's anxious, we automatically suck in those emotions just by being near her. That's what it seems like. Sorry. I was just a little thrown for a moment. Thanks. You got it. Somehow I knew I'd find you in here. Things went well with Charlotte? Thanks to your help. I can't wait for you guys to meet. I think you'd be great friends. Speaking of, my two favorite people in my favorite place. What have you guys been up to? You know, talking about bird calls and bird call related media. This guy really loves his birds. Guilty. You know we're trying to keep her in Haven, right? <laughs> anyway, I'm glad you two met. Not only is this dude my best friend, he's the best guide to Haven you could ever find. And this dude hands me the best beers? <laughs> hey, by the way, Mac was in here earlier, and uh, he really wants to talk to you. He knows where to find me. Anyway, my shift starts in 20. Ready to go? Take along? I'll catch up. I got a radio show to host. Bye-bye. <laughs>